In order for you to reduce costs, improve yields, and ensure a smooth harvest, you need to minimize gaps and overlap. John Deere has the solution, Row Command. In this video, we will show the proper setup of row command and section control and adjust section control on-off times to minimize gaps and overlap. Once implement detection has loaded the dimensions in the system, default settings will be displayed. Always verify and make sure that the correct dimensions for the tractor and the planter are entered. To enable row command from the planter setup, select the drives tab. In the drives drop-down box, select roll control sections. To modify roll control section, press setup arrow button and follow the on-screen prompts. On the main run page, you can monitor row command activity. The horizontal bar below each section indicates activity for that section. The arrow buttons below the sections can be used to turn sections on or off manually, starting at the outside of the planner. There is also an Enable All Sections button. The horizontal bar indicates activity based on bar color. If the bar is green, the section is active and detected. Meters are engaged. If the bar is neutral with a black border, the operator has deactivated the section using the arrow buttons. If the bar is black, the section has been deactivated with John Deere section control. Proper setup of section control maximizes accuracy of row command. Refer to the operator's manual for complete information of the setup. In this example, from the planner run page, the operator is going to the main page, next the applications tab, and the work setup. He is now verifying the correct connection type and pivot offset on the Implements tab. Next, verify the correct dimensions on the Dimensions tab. The number one setting, or the work point setting on the display, should be the distance from the seed drop to the planter hitch pins. Now that the correct dimensions are in the system, an operator can plan a pass with the closing wheel tied up. Next, measure the distance of gap or overlap of seed on the entry and exit of the original pass. Now that we have measured our gaps or overlaps on the exit and entry of the field, touch the performance tuning application. In this example, we had a skip into coverage of 29 inches at 6 miles an hour. So we enter the 29 inches on the screen at our speed of 6 mile an hour. We also had a overlap exiting coverage of 11 inches at the same speed of 6 mile an hour. We enter the 11 inches and the speed of 6 miles an hour on the screen. Once we have the correct numbers on the screen, we hit OK and section control settings will update automatically. You can see now on the mechanical delay, we have updated our delay on and delay off for our entered values. Now, repeat the procedure to verify that the section control is set correctly. Now make another pass in the field to verify that the section control settings you entered are correct and the system is updated. With a little effort in regards to proper setup of section control, Row Command can minimize gaps and overlap, allowing you to add to your bottom line. After watching this video, you now know the proper setup of Row Command and section control and adjust section control on-off times to minimize gaps and overlap.